Well, it's all quiet here on Middlebury College's campus now, but that was not the case just hours ago as hundreds of students and community members met up here at the Student Center to protest Charles Murray's lecture and they ended up changing the course of the evening. Author Charles Murray speaking on the Middlebury College campus was a shock for some. I personally felt as if my community was sending me the message that I did not belong, like as a woman and as a person of color. Murray's visit led to this scene on campus. Hundreds protesting against a man they feel is a white supremacist. He's got a message that is not something that I think is tolerant, uh, amounts to hate speech, and I feel particularly strongly that the college should not be endorsing it, and I think they are implicitly, maybe explicitly endorsing it. Murray took to the stage yeah. intending to give a lecture. I had thought. But instead, the students who filled this auditorium stood on their feet, turned their backs to Charles Murray, and started a chant that lasted over 15 minutes. <laughs> Murray was invited to campus by a student group, the American Enterprise Institution Club. The invite was not an endorsement of Murray's beliefs by the club, but a chance to learn more in today's heated political climate. I really think his work coming apart is incredibly important for understanding Donald Trump and understanding the forces at play that brought that movement together. And as you know, a Republican, I don't understand this movement enough. Personally, I'm feeling disappointed. Bill Berger is the school's vice president of communications. They were prepared for this scene moving Murray to a private room to finish his lecture on a live stream. We respect the right of students to express themselves and to protest. He says it's clear a group of students were committed to stopping the event. What we have now is something more akin to a mob. Now he says this is one of the most controversial things he's seen on campus in many years. And the administration was recording the whole live stream. So if you want to check that out, they say they'll have it on their website tomorrow. Now live in Middlebury, Abby Isaacs, NBC5 News.